G'day, it's Michael here from MTB Direct. Today we're going to learn how to tow someone on a mountain bike. So the first thing we need is an Oki strap. This one's about 1200 long and it's got the closed loops at the end. These are much safer to use than the, the typical book style ones. Uh, they're a lot more robust and they also, if they were to come off or, or something happen, they're not gonna, not gonna hurt someone's eye, which is quite important. We've also got another piece of rope here. It's about three meters long. This is what I'd recommend is the, the correct sort of length. Um, much longer than that and your passenger is too far away um, and it makes it difficult to get around tighter corners. Um, so three meters, I find typically works pretty well. So to connect it to the other rope, I'm just going to uh, run it back on itself, then tie basic knot, like that, a granny knot, and then that's ready to clip on. So we simply attach it like so, clip the other end on our seat rail, and then the other end goes to our passenger. Now I like to leave this loose rather than attach it to the bike, um, as I think that's safer. Um, the passenger can then let go of the rope if need be. Um, if they're scared or get into a situation because they've got better visibility of what's going on. The best way I find to attach the rope to the passenger's bike is to wrap it around the handlebars once, one more time, and then hold it over the grip. The benefit of this is if the passenger wants to let go, it will detach by itself. By wrapping around twice, it gives uh, the rope enough friction that the passenger is not fighting to hold the rope on there. It's not trying to pull through their hands. So the best way I find to start is to start with the rope tight. However, the lead bike starts on an angle. The benefit of that is that the lead bike can start to get their balance and then straighten up. The other tip I find that's quite useful is that you get your passenger to call when they're ready and they say go rather than the lead rider take off. That way they're all set up and are comfortable with everything and they make the call of when to take off. It doesn't sound like much, but if you've got a less experienced rider on the back, or you're trying to ride up a steep incline or something like that, um, it can be quite helpful. It is important to instruct the tail rider to keep the rope tight at all times. I typically find towing works best on a sustained gradient climb. If you have to go up and down hills, the tail rider needs to be reasonably experienced and they need to hold the, hold the brakes on uh, when descending so that the rope is a constant length all the time. The stretchy band does help to some extent in keeping the, the rope tight and not getting caught in the front wheel, but if it does get caught, here's an example, it's only a matter of time before that's gonna get more tangled up and put the tail right over the handlebars. So I've used towing for a couple of reasons. One is to, if I'm perhaps taking my e-bike out, my friend is on their regular bike and we wanna get up a lot of elevation really quick. Or perhaps even if you wanna uh, take someone on some downhill runs, works great if you've got like a, a kid who you're trying to get into mountain biking and you wanna just do a lot of elevation really quick. So let us know how you go with uh, towing in the comments below and uh, be sure to subscribe for more mountain bike related tips.